Hey everyone, today's video is about when you get stabbed in front of him. A lot of things happened today, to be honest. Um, like, one of my family members' phone got stolen, and it was like horrible. I, I kind of felt bad, even though I wasn't the one who stole them. I mean, obviously. <laughs> but I mean, I felt so bad, I wanted to cry. Obviously for the phone, not for the family member. Yeah, we get that. Anyways, let's get going. You walk down the dimly lit alleyway, hand in hand with Bakugo Katsuki. You're both on your way back from a date, and you're both laughing and chatting as you go. But as you near the end of the alley, a figure steps out in front of you, blocking your path. You freeze, your heart racing in your chest. The person is wearing a mask, and you can't see their face. They're holding a knife. Give me your wallet. They demand, brandishing the weapon, obviously not knowing who you are. Bakugo steps in front of you, his eyes narrowing. As he faces, the masked thief. Get lost, asshole. He snarls. The masked figure hesitates for a moment. Then lunges forward, the knife glistening in the dim light. Baku goes fast, but the attacker is faster. You watch in horror as they plunge the knife into your side. Moyan! Baku screams, catching you as you collapse to the ground. You can feel the pain seeping through your body, and you struggle to breathe. Baku goes face is a mask of furry as he faces the attacker once again. You're dead. He growls, his eyes blazing with anger. The attacker hesitates for a moment, then turns and runs. Bakugo almost follows, but then stops, instead turning his attention to you. Wyatt, stay with me. He pleads, cradling your head in his lap. I'll get you help. Just stay with me. You try to speak, but the pain in your side is too much. He leans over, brushing a strand of air from your face. Shh, don't talk. He says softly, just rest. The ambulance arrives moments later, and you are rushed to the hospital. You are barely conscious, but you can hear Bakugo's voice beside you urging you to keep fighting. Stay with me, Wyan. He says, You're going to be okay. You have to be okay. The next few days are a blur of pain and medication. You're in and out of consciousness, but Bakugo is always there, holding your hand and telling you how much he loves you. You scared the hell out of me. He admits one day, his voice hoarse from worry. I'm sorry, you say weakly. Don't be sorry, he says. Just promise me, you'll never scare me like that again. I promise, you say, squeezing his hands. It takes weeks for you to fully recover, and you spend most of that time in the hospital. Baku goes there every day bringing you food and flowers and staying with you long into the night. You're my hero, you say one day, tears in your eyes. I'm just glad you're okay, he says, brushing a tear from your cheek. You're discharged from the hospital, but Bakugo doesn't let you out of his sight. He helps you with your physical therapy, brings you food, when you can't leave your bed and stays by your side. Even when you're in too much pain to speak, I don't know what I'd do without you. You tell him one day, as he helps you down the stairs. You'll never have to find that out, Vion. He says, wrapping his arm around you. I'll always be here for you, no matter what. It takes months, but eventually, you're able to walk again. 
Buck goes there to celebrate every milestone, his love and support, never wavering. You're amazing, he says, watching as you take your first, unaided steps. I try to amaze myself. You reply, smiling through tears of joy. A few months later, as you are walking down the street, Bakugo stops suddenly, pulling you to a halt. What's wrong? You ask, looking up at him. He doesn't say anything. Instead, dropping to one knee and pulling a small box from his pocket. Wyan, will you marry me? He asks, his eyes shining with love. You gasp in surprise, tears streaming down your face. Yes, of course, you say, throwing your arms around his neck. He slips the ring onto your finger, and you both stand there, holding each other tightly, the world fading away around you. I love you, he whispers in your ear. I love you too, you reply, smiling up at him. And as you walk hand in hand, down the street, your future stretching out before you, he knew that nothing can ever come between you and Bakugo. You and Bakugo began planning your wedding, and it's a beautiful day filled with love and laughter. You exchange your vows in front of your friends and family, and as you kiss your new husband, you feel like the luckiest person in the world. After the wedding, you both go on a new adventure together. You move into new houses, start new jobs, and build a life filled with love and happiness. But even as you move forward, the memory of the attack still lingers in the back of your mind. One day, as you're sitting on the couch watching TV, Bakugo comes over to you, a serious look on your face. Wyan, there's something I need to tell you. What is that? You ask, feeling a sudden sense of dread. The person who attacked us. I found who they are, he says, his voice low. Your heart races as he tells you the name of the attacker. You feel a mix of anger and fear, wondering if they'll ever come back to hurt you again. I already called the police. They're taking care of it, but I just wanted to let you know. Thank you for telling me, you say, leaning in Day's embrace. Nothing's going to happen to you again. I won't let anyone hurt you. You believe him, and as you snuggle into his arms, you know that no matter what happens, you'll always have each other. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!